Uh, starting off uh, from other stories uh, around the globe, the first story right now that we are tracking apart from the crucial Karnataka elections is what comes with a surprise. Electoral Commission said the populist cleric Muqtama al-Sadr, a staunch adversary of US, has all but won Iraq's parliamentary elections in the first election since Islamic State was defeated in the country. Now, Iran-backed Shiite militia chief Haider al-Amiri's bloc was in second place, while Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi once seen as the front-runner trail in third. The preliminary results were based on a count of more than 91% of the votes cast in 16 of Iraq's 18 provinces. A British uh, rugby player has also died and a teammate is seriously ill after complaining of breathing difficulties on returning from a nightclub in Sri Lanka. A 25-year-old Thomas Howard, hailing from Durham in northern England, reportedly died shortly after being admitted to the hospital on Sunday. His teammate remains in hospital, though the players were touring the country with a local Durham rugby team while visiting Colombo. President Donald Trump's wife, Melania Trump, underwent a surgical procedure to treat a benign kidney condition. America's First Lady will remain at Walter Reed Medical Center for the rest of the week. Spokeswoman Stephanie Grisham said in a statement that Mrs. Trump, 48, underwent an embolization procedure to treat the kidney condition. The President Trump spoke with his wife of 13 years after the procedure and talked to the doctor after it was completed. A Trump later traveled by his Marine One helicopter to Walter Reed to visit his wife. A lava oozing from massive cracks in the earth that have sprouted near Hawaii's Kilauea volcano continue to threaten highways. It raises the possibility that officials will order remaining residents to evacuate before access routes are cut off. Since May 3rd, when Kilauea began erupting, 19 lava spewing fissures have opened in the area, steaming cracks along one of the area's main routes have raised concerns a new fissure may develop there which would imperil access for 2,000 people in the lower Puna area. Now Hawaii officials say that if the highway is cut off, officials will start to plan for a mass evacuation.